Greetings, Portable Masters. Today I'm going to show you how to install Skylanders Lost Islands on Bluestacks 5, particularly on a NuGat virtual machine, and I'll show you how to set that up. There's a few things you'll need. First, you'll need to install Bluestacks 5. I'll include a link to a video tutorial and a link to the official download page for Bluestacks 5 in the description of the video. Second, you'll need to download the necessary files from the Skylanders Lost Islands Android Internet Archive page. And third, you'll need to download a file manager on your Android virtual machine that can extract zip archives and it gives you access to the Android data folder. In this tutorial, I'll be using the files app by Google. So the first page you'll want to go to is the Internet Archive page I posted that contains all the files for the game. That includes the APKs, all the data files, and everything. And if you're going to be using BlueStacks in particular, you can just easily view the contents of the zip archive and internet archive and download the 2.0.2 APK. Along with the XAPK, which you'll install in BlueStacks, you'll also need to download this archive here, which contains all the data files. Once you start downloading the files from the internet archive page, you can grab files app by Google by either going to the Google Play Store and downloading it on your virtual machine or you could go to a website like APK Pure and download an APK of it. Just make sure that the architecture it supports is universal and make sure it supports your Android version which this one supports Android 5 and above. Once you've downloaded and installed BlueStacks if you haven't already and downloaded all the files from these pages can open up the BlueStacks Instance Manager, which you can search for easily in the search bar on Windows. And if you already do not have a NuGat instance, which it can either be 32 or 64-bit, you can create one by clicking on the New Instance button, Fresh Instance, choosing your Android version, either NuGat 32 or 64-bit, click on Next, and then choose whatever specifications you want, preferably make it fit to where it's not too demanding on your computer if you don't have the highest end computer and then you just create a new instance. At first you'll need to download the files and then afterwards it will create the instance. And if you've already downloaded the files like I have, it'll just create a new instance immediately. Once you've gotten your instance created, you, you will need to launch your instance, but you can launch it from here. Or if it's set as your default instance, you'll, you can just open it by opening the BlueStacks app or the advertisements, and then you'll need to install your APKs. Once you got your instance up and running, you want to click on the install APK button right here. Navigate to where you have your stuff located. Install Lost Islands, preferably the XAPK, as that also contains the OBB file, which is required to be able to run the game. And then install the Google Files app. Once your apps are done installing, you'll need to open up the Media Manager application in BlueStacks and import the data archive from the IA page. Just like that. Next, you'll want to go back to your home screen and you want to at least launch Lost Islands once to make sure that the game loads up properly. Once you've done that, you will need to close out of Lost Islands, open up the Files by Google app. If it requests permissions to access your device's files, allow. Then you want to scroll down to Internal Storage, go to your DCIM folder in Internal Storage right here. Click on shared folder. This is where all your imported files from Windows will be. Click on the archive and click on extract. And click done. Once you get the archive extracted, you'll need to go back to your internal storage, which you can just click this button here to take you back there. You want to click on the Android folder, click on data, click on com.activision.skylanders.lostislands open up the data folder for the game then click on files now hold left click on files and delete the folder the game just made whenever you first loaded it once you're done with that go back to internal storage go back navigate back to your dcim folder your shared folder open up the folder that 
files app automatically created whenever it extracted the data from the archive. Hold down left click on the files folder, click on copy to or move to, depending on what you want to do. Then you want to click on internal storage whenever it pulls up down here. Click on Android, click on data, click on the same com.activision.skylanders.lostislands folder, and then click on copy here. Once the files app is done copying all the files over the data folder, you'll want to go back to your home screen, open the game up again to test it to make sure that it works. And if it says loading and it's not connecting, then you should be good to go. Just give it a moment and then it should load. Boom. There we go. Another thing I want to mention too is if you want to start fresh, and start over again so you're not stuck with my save file, what you can do is you can close out of the game, go back to the files app, go to internal storage, click on Android, go back to data, go back to the Lost Islands data folder, go to files, cloud storage, non.0, and delete both slot0.cloudd and slot0.metad. Once that's deleted, you can go back into the game, give it a moment, it takes a little bit to load, not very long though. It'll say, an app purchases, just click OK, you can't even get any anyways anymore. Tap the screen to start, and you'll, greeted, and you'll be greeted by Eon. Skip that if you want, and so I do. Put in your age, doesn't really matter, I'm just going to put in mine. And then you're into the tutorial section of the game. I hope this tutorial was able to help you install and play Skylanders Lost Islands again through an Android emulator. The few people I want to give credit to, and I'll include them in the video description. First, I want to give credit to Game Freak 1.0 for posting the files of the iOS version of Lost Islands on Internet Archive. I used the data files from this as a base to get the Android version working again. Second, I want to give credit to a couple of Internet Archive users who posted their files for the Android version of Trap Team. I use one of the data files to figure out some of the file paths to give the game so that it loads the correct files. Third, I want to give credit to Boombrainer for being patient and chill while I was helping him install the game. His suggestion of the files by Google app, which is easier to use than other file managers, and some potential video thumbnails. Fourth, I want to give credit to my awesome friend Shojiki with designing the final thumbnail for the video. Hope you all have a great day. Have fun saving Skylands.